Okay guys, just wanted to update you on my uh, U-Siphon that I built. I've changed it a little bit because uh, in the system, I have four beds, but in the system, I uh, wasn't getting a good seal break with just a half inch, and so after doing a little research, uh, I decided that I needed a bigger intake than what was going out. So uh, I found at Lowe's this uh, one inch to a half inch, and I'm using it as my elbow, and then it goes into a one inch uh, uh, intake valve and uh, I've, I've been having a lot better breaks in my siphon uh, and I'm going to let this fill up and I'm going to show you uh, sometimes better than others uh, I've realized that uh, with the water flow coming out of the pipe is very important right now it's a little faster than what I'm going to use uh, when I slow it down when I have all the beds working it slows down a little bit and that gives me a better break and a consistent break from my, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, from my, into my water, there's my pump, I don't know if you can see that. I don't have any fish yet uh, because I'm trying to get all the bugs out of my system. Um, so. I will update you as soon as I get all this done, but I'm going to let it fill up, and I'm having a lot faster uh, flow rate, uh, a lot faster siphon, so I'm really pleased with the one inch to a half inch. Now, I may even have to update this in the future to a two inch to one inch. I just didn't want to change my uniseal down at the bottom there, and I didn't want to have to go back through the bed, or through the, yeah, through the grow bed. And, and change all this up like I had to do here. Uh, I've got this standing up, but I had to do that here because I've got all this grow medium down here and I'm gonna to have to shovel it out. So, should have taken my advice and, and taken my own advice and not uh, put all this medium in before I realized that I didn't have my break right every time. And without a consistent break, then you have nothing because you have no ebb and flow. So, I'll uh, push pause right now until it gets ready to spill out and I'll show you the, the, the luck I've been having with, with uh, this u siphon. Okay guys, this one's about to the top. I just wanted to tell you why I had you here that uh, while we're waiting for it to flow over is that's a 45 down to an intake uh, 1 inch and 1 inch 45 and this is a one inch to a half inch and then the rest are a, 40, a 90 degree elbow half inch and a 45 degree el elbow half inch and a uniseal and I'm getting pretty good firing times on the siphon with this thing um, you know I've thought about doing other designs like the ABS siphon and things of that nature but when it all comes down to it I think a good rule of thumb that I, I see people that have good success is that if you go half of whatever your uh, pipe going to your uh, tank, you should have a, a double that size on uh, your intake valve. I think that's a good rule of thumb. All right, I don't know if you can see this or not. Probably can't. But it's almost ready to fire right now. Sorry about that now, I've got a full siphon right now. So as you can see, I have a full siphon, I know that's dark, I don't have enough light down here. But I have a full siphon right now, it only took about 10 seconds, maybe less. So I'm gonna let this siphon down and then when I get to the bottom, when it's about ready to break, uh, I'll show you how, how what good results I've having with the larger intake. Okay, I want to take you back under here while that's still siphoning. This one's about ready to fire. And I want to kind of count how long it takes. Alright, there's the first trickle. I know it's hard to see. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. So I've got a full siphon in about 20 seconds. So, you know, that's not bad. I'll take that. Okay, it's almost down to the bottom. Let's see if we can get a good break. You might not be able to hear it with the water on. But, you know, while we're waiting on that to happen, obviously bigger is better. That's what she said, right? So anytime you have a, you double the size of your intake with what's going to your fish tank, fish, uh, fish tank, I can't talk, sorry, then you're going to have good results. So I've learned my lesson, getting brake breaks. Let's see if we can hear it. There it went. Let's see if it stopped underneath. And it's stopped underneath. And it's done. All right, appreciate you watching. Thank you.